Hey everybody, so uh, two basic tips. You may already know these, but recently I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, with plumbing and, um, and modeling pipes and, and working on fittings and stuff. And I stumbled on, onto these two things. And um, hopefully if you haven't heard these before, they're helpful. Uh, and yeah, so let me just jump into it and show you real quick. Uh, it shouldn't take much uh, to go through these. So, um, we've got two things, just like reference planes, walls, you know, various elements, sometimes depending on the, or well, when you draw like a reference plane from one point to another, uh, that impacts how other elements might interact with it. And if you actually place a reference plane and flip it, uh, it's going to flip like lights on it. Um, you, you may notice that sometimes, uh, and so pipes, a lot of things in Revit work that way where they're, they interact with elements differently depending on um, the way you modeled it. So here we've got pipes and um, we've got some fittings, uh, some T's on them. And I'm actually going to uh, just create a brand new one. So I'm going to do uh, CS create similar. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to draw one um, from right to left. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same for uh, left to right. All right. And then I'm going to uh, just, I always forget the keyboard shortcut, but it's PI for pipe. And then we're going to draw off the middle there, model off of it. All right, and you'll see that these are actually facing two different ways. Um, and depending on what you're drawing or modeling, then uh, you may want to start your pipe, you know, from down here or over to the left. You know, it depends on what you're doing. Uh, if you're having to connect a bunch of stuff to this, that might help. Now, it is easy to flip these. Um, it's hard to see. Let me move this out of the way. For people that don't know, you can grab that and you can see that there. If I hover over it for a second, you'll see flip fitting. And so if we click on that, it'll flip it. So really easy. Uh, but if you're um, adding a bunch, like up here, we've got three uh, and they all need to be going the same way, then you, um, you could see we're knowing how to model that stuff. And after you get quick at it and you know immediately that if you go from left to right it's going to go in this way then uh, it's going to be you're not even going to think about it it's going to be a lot quicker for you and you won't have to go back and flip these and a lot of times i'll look at risers and these you'll find one that isn't flipped or isn't the way it uh it should be uh, and maybe Dynamo could help uh, prevent that by looking at the flow or looking at the system type and figuring out what is necessary there. Uh, and that's easy, but um, I think fundamentally is people people understanding Revit better is always good. And um, if, you te if you teach them that, then they know how they're going to go in and they may have less... There may be less chances of accidentally putting a fitting in there that's facing the wrong way. Now, nothing's ever going to be perfect, but um, but anyways, that's kind of it on that one. And you can see, same thing for up and down. It's going to affect the way that those go in. So, um, the other one, and this was kind of interesting, uh, I've never seen this before. Um, and that's mostly because I didn't work with a lot of piping stuff. And now I am. Uh, and somebody showed me this or it was on a project and they showed me it and said that they've dealt with this a few times. Uh, this actually gets, it's the same thing, at least with what I was testing. Uh, the orientation, like the way you model it does affect the way that this comes in. And let me just show you for visual. And then we'll look at a way of fixing it. And so... If I do uh, CS, we're gonna just model this here. And then I'm gonna come off of it like that. And you'll see it, it puts it in there. Uh, and this is not a real fitting. Like that's not something that would ever be installed in real life. So we definitely don't want that to happen. Now, if we grab this, do CS again, we'll come over on this side. You'll see it actually works fine, which is really weird. 
when it's coming on this side. Now, that's because of the orientation of the pipes. Um, not the orientation, but the, um, the way you modeled the pipe. So did you go from left to right or right to left? And that will actually impact this. Now, to fix this, it's pretty easy. Um, you could flip it, and you're going to get an error if you try to do that when it's connected. So um, I'm going to undo that. Pull this pipe out, which is a weird way that it's connecting into it there. But uh, now if we flip it, uh, go over here to the angle. You'll see it's at 147, so that's definitely not right. We'll just do a 45. I'm going to delete this and just model one off of it. Click on it, right click, and then if we draw the pipe, you'll see something. As soon as we actually place this, it'll flip back, which is really annoying. But if you pin it um, and then, then uh, draw your pipe off of it, uh, it's fine. It stays where it's at. Um, and uh, you, you'll see this is kind of annoying, but if you click on the pipe or the fitting, uh, unpin it, maybe you don't want a bunch of pins uh, in your model, that could cause other issues. And so if you unpin it and then move this, it will actually switch it back. So that's kind of, a, kind of annoying, but uh, I don't know if, let's try to move that. Yeah, okay, so it's just this one. Um, I don't think moving this, like if you shifted it, it's gonna do anything. Yeah, so it's if you update this, at least the length, it's gonna mess with it, unless you have it pinned. Now, I haven't dug into the families enough to know, uh, for this particular fitting, enough to know why that's happening, um, but, that is a fix, at least if you're, you, you're, you need to get a project out, that will fix it. However, uh, to prevent it altogether, I haven't dug that far into it. If somebody has, let me know. Uh, but it's, it's weird that it does that um, because, you know, a, a 150 degree angled fitting is not a thing. So, um, Anyways, it could just be something in the family that needs to be constrained. I don't know. At some point, I'll dive into it, and if I do, I'll share a video. But if somebody already has, let me know. I'd love to uh, uh, learn. So, anyways, that's all I've got. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.